carbon nanotubes and fullerenes are the materials related to carbon material and they have a different properties because of that properties they are showing different applications across the various fields and today topic is preparation of carbon nanotubes and fullerenes along with their properties and applications and start with the carbon nanotubes so carbon nanotubes name itself tell him they are materials made up of carbon having a tube type cylindrical shaped structure and uh, one of the dimension of the material should be within the nano scale so carbon nano material so made by carbon and it, they have a spherical structure and size within the nano scale so to become a nano metal any one of the external dimension should be in the nano scale that means below 100 nanometers so here carbon nanotubes also they are one of the dimension within the nano scale so generally carbon nanotubes are produced by the rolled up of the graphite sheets so nanometer is the one billionth of the meter about 10 thousand times smaller than the human air carbon nanotubes are mainly classified into two types one is single walled carbon nanotubes and multi walled carbon nanotubes single walled carbon nanotubes are just like regular straw but straw in the millimeter uh, centimeter range but uh, it has only one layer like that single walled carbon nanotubes are also having only one layer which is made by carbon and the diameter is close to one nanometer that's why it is become as a carbon nanotube so it is generally obtained by wrapping of one atom thick layer of graphene so generally here sp2 hybridized carbon similar just like polarines they are good conductors so based on the type of wrapping how you are wrapped so these single wall carbon nanotubes are um, again classified into three types so according to their um, Phil Miller indices so n and m their nature of the Miller indices these are classified into zigzag armchair and chiral you can see here if this is a green this is a carbon of the one of the uh, graphene graph graphene material so when you connect this green one into the other red one like this like this if you did the wrapping this is called zigzag structure so you can see a zigzag like zigzag like structure will come here so you can see a zigzag structure is coming here and uh, if you connect this uh, green carbon into the blue carbon this way and it will give the armchair armchair like structure armchair like structure so like that we, by the different wrapping methods can produce the different types of single wall carbon nanotubes the important thing is the diameter of the layer or tube is below one nanometer so one nanometer okay that's why it is become single wall carbon nanotubes and multi wall carbon nanotubes mean they are consisting of multiple roll layers and having overall diameter less than 100 nanometers that means if you measure the overall diameter of this material so overall diameter of this material it is less than 100 nanometers that's why it still it is in also in the nano scale that's why he has so many layers is there so many layers is there that's why it is called multi wall carbon nanotubes so interlayer distance is 3.3 angstrom that means 0.3 nanometers so one layer and another layer is distance with the 3.3 angstroms and it exhibits both metallic and semiconducting properties so preparation of multi wall carbon nanotubes is very easy than the single wall carbon nanotubes and also functionalization of these multi wall carbon nanotubes are very easy why because they are thermally stable compared to the single wall carbon nanotubes so properties of carbon nanotubes they are ideal conductor for electrical energy they have higher tensile strength extraordinarily flexible and elastic in nature so excellent conductors of thermal energy these all are because of high aspect ratio aspect ratio mean if you observe the normal metals there if you consider the length by width you will get a, a just numbers within the one or two numbers but if i take a nanometers nanometers having a millimeter or micrometer length and nanometer width 
so micrometer by nanometer gives a very very high range of number that is called aspect ratio when a metal showing aspect ratio high it having a different properties like uh, extremely active materials they have a high surface area high pore volume high surface energy because of these properties they are applicable in different fields so they are used as a additives in the polymers just like compounding of polymer but different additives added along with the polymer to increase the mechanical electrical and uh, uh, thermal properties we can also add these carbon nanotubes to the polymers as a additives then they increase the strength of the metals and also increase the electrical properties of the metal generally polymers are non conductors when you add some um, sp2 hybridized carbon nanotubes it also gets the electrical nature electrical conductivity property also and these carbon nanotubes used as a catalyst by using them you can achieve the better conversion as well as better selectivity also and used in the co2 capturing process it is a good adsorbent carbon nanotubes as a halo structure they have a spherical st structure so they can capture the different gases especially co2 capturing and converting the co2 into useful products so co2 utilization studies these carbon nanotubes are using widely and drug delivery systems when you drugs are joined with the carbon nanotubes and leave at the drug molecule at specific body part without giving side effects to other body parts so this is called drug delivery process so carbon nanotubes are used in this process so these are the very good replacement for the conventional lithium ion battery anodes in the lithium ion battery generally carbon c6 metals porous carbon is using as anodes if you replace this porous carbon with the carbon nanotube it has a it it, it can accommodate more lithium ions in it, it then it can produce a more electricity in the lithium ion battery same way uh, you can use in the fuel cells fuel cells also anode and cathode both are the made by the carbon rods one anode is over the one anode we have to pass hydrogen gas and over the another uh, uh, anode we have to pass the oxygen so if you replace this anode and cathode with carbon nanotubes or if you coated the some of the carbon nanotubes over the uh, porous carbon rods you can achieve more storage of the hydrogen and oxidizing agent then you can produce the more electricity so storing hydrogen and more efficiency and uh, so it is used in the advanced sensors composite materials super capacitors so different applications is there because of the higher surface energy and higher surface area of the carbon nano materials and also spherical st uh, structure also provides the to capturing the different gases and store the different energies within it so how can we prepare this carbon nanotubes we are going to prepare in two ways one is arc discharge method so arc discharge method arc mean electricity we will apply electricity at a high voltage and we suddenly discharge that electricity that is the process involved in, in preparation of carbon nanotubes you can see here there is a vacuum so there is a vacuum created within a cell so in itself one glass tube is there in that glass tube anode and cathode is there so cathode minus charge processing cathode is connected to battery negative terminal at cathode a graphite rod a simple graphite rod is connected to cathode so this chamber is uh, vacuumed and we have to pass helium and argon gas at 400 millibars so then we need to apply supply high voltage electricity when you supply high voltage electricity so we are giving electrons to the carbon rods so because of this electrical energy uh, the carbon carbon balls will be uh, vibrated they will be activated because of high voltage and you suddenly uh, discharge the voltage and heat this material at high temperatures when you heat this metal at high temperature already activated carbon carbon bonds will break and carbon will be evaporated the evaporated carbon will deposit on the this anodic material as a carbon nanotubes so what happening here so solid graphite first activated by using electricity then 
the carbon carbon bonds will break and carbon evaporated by using the thermal energy heat energy so electrical energy and heat energy combination of these uh, used in the arc discharge method and finally we get a carbon nanotubes so generally this method produces 30 percent yield of the carbon nanotubes that means if you put the one gram of graphite rod you only get the 0.3 grams of carbon nanotubes and that too this method only produces multi-wall carbon nanotubes if you want to prepare the single wall carbon nanotubes you need to keep a graphite rod which possessing cobalt or nickel material so that means first of all you need to uh, dope cobalt or nickel on the graphite rod then you if you subjected that material it can be produced as the a single wall carbon nanotubes okay so this is the one of the method next method is chemical vapor deposition method this is the industrial method most frequently used and best method to prepare the carbon nanotubes in this method we need to pass methane gas and influence of hydrogen gas or air into the chamber which is at the thousand degrees centigrade and also this chamber having a catalyst material this catalyst trace tray is made by cobalt or nickel so when you pass the gas gases molecule ch4 so already it is a gas molecule when you apply 1000 degrees centigrade so ch bonds will break down and this carbon free carbon evaporated carbon will be deposited on the this catalyst metal as a carbon nanotubes it's a simple process is called chemical vaporized deposition we take a chemical ch4 we will make it as a vapor ch4 vapors then we will break down the all carbon hydrogen bonds and we will deposit the carbon nanotubes that's why it is called chemical vapor deposition method okay here the important one is the preparation of catalyst metal here this tray uh, this preparation is very important because of this uh, catalyst material we can control the production of single wall carbon nanotubes okay so catalyst is a key whole process for careful attention must be given to deposition process okay so this is method subjected to so next one is polar rings so polar rings are the third allotope of carbon after graphite and diamond so these are the closed halo cages consisting of carbon atoms interconnected in pentagonal and hexagonal rings so there is a pentagonal and hexagonal rings interconverted and all are made by carbon materials and having a halo sphere structures halo cage structures c20 is the smallest and c60 is the famous polarine what we know up to and applications of polarines so there is so many applications is there especially these are used in the artificial photosynthesis to prepare superconductor materials and non-linear optics surface coating sensors electrodes in batteries and chemical and energy storage and antioxidants so almost all applications are done by carbon nanotubes also but especially here antioxidants and artificial photosynthesis anti-aging and anti-damaging agents in cosmetic field and biological application like photosensitizers in tumor treatment these are the special applications of the polarines so how can we prepare the polarines polarines preparation is developed by Kachmar and Hutman in 1990 it is also just like a arc discharge method what we applied in the carbon nanotubes here also graphite rods two graphite rods act as anode and cathode and subjected to high voltage when we apply the high voltage a suit will form that suit contains the very very little amount of polarines especially in this process we can prepare the c60 polarines this suit is subjected to extraction process so it is interact it is uh, mixed with the toluene or some organic solvents now this uh, extracted toluene contains the polarines excess solvent will be evaporated by using rotary evaporators and finally we get a materials which is called polarines but it's process producing very very low amount so this is the preparation of polarines and this is the topic today carbon nanotubes and properties applications and preparation methods thank you for watching with me